Hey friends, Jill Case here with your weekly astrological update. We are officially in Gemini season. So we've moved from that grounded, stable, fixated energy of Taurus into the butterfly energy of Gemini. So we get curious, we want to learn, we want to socialize, we want to get out of our houses, we want to talk. <laughs> All of these are air sign qualities. And so with Gemini, we're really getting to practice our adaptation, right? We're in this new environment. Things probably aren't going back to normal anytime soon. And so with Gemini, we're getting invited into that beginner's mind of seeing um, things in a new light, of opening our mind. This can be a really creative time if we're really open-minded and able to kind of take on that student of anything and everything. So my suggestions for Gemini season this time is to really be curious, really be curious how to take a new perception into everything in your life, be it relationships, which are especially highlighted right now, be it your situation, be it even yourself, what new things and new talents are coming forward because of the situations that we're all finding ourselves in. Increase your learning, Let's try to learn new skills, try to learn new ways. Really being that student um, is going to be really important for us during these times and to work together with this. This is a totally community focused time. Gem Gemini loves friends and so talk it out with a friend. Um, ask for ideas. Let's support each other in finding creative solutions to move forward. Another good aspect of Gemini to work with this month is to really work on our communication skills, right? Like I know all of us could probably find one thing about our communication that we'd like to get better. Maybe we wanna be better listeners or maybe we wanna be able to speak our needs or to be more articulate with expressing ourselves. So whatever that is, this is a great time to work on our communication. Some watch outs for Gemini, overstimulation. In Gemini season, we're taking it all in. We lose our train of thought, we move faster, we're absorbing so much that we can absorb too much, right? We start seeing ourselves as being flighty, hard to keep our focus, feeling like we have attention deficit, or we're just feeling overwhelmed. This is a good time to take timeouts, get grounded, come back to the present moment, right? Be where your two feet are standing. These are all good kind of reminders uh, to come back to the Taurus energy in some ways. Um, another good reminder, watch out for Gemini, is talking too much, right? Or uh, maybe for you, it's listening too much, right? And, you, and not talking enough. It's like the excess sign of, of the communication. So those are all signs, uh, all things to kind of watch out for during this time. But more than anything, it's just a time to, again, bring your curiosity, bring that presence to the moment. Be here now. Don't worry about the future as much as we can. Do the next right thing. So that hopefully that will help you out with this uh, next coming month. So uh, I've written about this on my website. If you go to my astrology page at jillcasepdx.com, tomorrow evening at 7 o'clock I'm leading a new moon ceremony where we'll do a little yoga, Gemini focused, and then we'll do a little ceremony and intention setting for this season. So I'd love to see you and connect with you in community virtually, of course. So take care, you guys, and have a great week.